When you see the Spurs three-point shooting really stick out in their bench when you got Marco Bellinelli providing 17 points off the bench and Tony Parker just controlled the whole game from start to finish so you needed Sean Marion a guy who defends multiple positions tonight to try to take Sean Par Sean uh, excuse me try to take Tony Parker out of the game and they just didn't have it they didn't have that extra defender to throw out there tonight and you can't get out rebounded by 20 against this team so that's a big thing you most definitely can now going on the road to New Orleans do you think they'll be able to rebuild that energy that is missing from Sean Marion First, the Mavs really struggle in that building. New Orleans Arena has really hunted them. They got a 100 to 97 win earlier in the year in that building, but it's going to be hard without Sean Marion again. Other guys are going to have to step up, and you're seeing Rick Carlisle have to play multiple bigs right now to try to take away not having Sean Marion playing back up four. So it's going to be interesting. Someone's going to have to step up besides Dirk or Monte or even Vince Carter. It's going to have to be a Brandon Wright or someone going for a big game for them to get a win. Most definitely. And if people want more information on you, they can go to Mavs.com and follow you on Twitter at? Yeah. At Earl K. Sneed. There you, guys, there you guys have it. We'll be taking you into head coach Rick Carlisle you know, in a moment. The rebounding killed us all night long. I mean, we were down 36-18 at halftime, and that's just that's just not good enough. I mean, we had some good defensive possessions. Uh, I think there were three, possibly three in the first quarter, where we had them down on the shot clock, made them take a difficult shot, and then they tip it in. You know, and that's we got to finish off possessions, and there were too many of those. And you know, San Antonio makes you pay for those kinds of mistakes, and. You know, we uh, we weren't shooting it well, um, and so you know, and they were, um, and we just uh, we we never had enough defensive traction all night, and we got we got out competed. Gotta go. Um, I feel like every guy gotta know that we need this game. I feel like, I feel like we need this game. Um, it's a game I feel like we gotta. Have. Yeah, we just came out kind of slow, I guess. You know, they came out um, and they jumped on us. From the beginning, uh, unfortunately, and uh, you know the lead just continued to grow. Grow. Last time you. Oh, I mean, I think uh, you know the rebounding was an issue. Uh, they get so many second chance points, um, you know, and they were making shots. You know, for whatever reason, they were, you know, some of the craziest shots I've seen through in so long, uh, and that's what, the, you know, that's what was going on. Well, we all got to It's got to be a team effort. It's not one guy. Got to, you know, uh, little guys got to crack down on the big guys. Big guys got to box out. Uh, we just got to come up with the loose balls. And being that this is a veteran team, talk about the impact that LaShawn Marion has when he's not able to be a part of the team. He's a big part of us. Uh, you know, he's uh, one of our main guys. And, you know, it hurt, hurts not having him, but uh, one guy's got to step up. This is the NBA, and uh, that's what we get paid for. So I think in the second half, although we did a better job with the glass, uh, 
Oops, but just early on to miss it. You know, once Park gets in the lane, you help, the big guys help, it puts you out of position a little bit, and some ball sh the shot goes up, and uh, the bigs uh, uh, got that position on us. Some big guards, they're small, their wings running in, getting some balls alive. And, so that, w that wasn't very good there in the first half. I thought we did a better job in the second half.